Out of that top story, a teenager is dead and two Wolcott High School students are hurt. After a crash on Spindle Hill Road, News 8's Brittany Schaefer joins us live in Wolcott with the latest on the police in investigation into what happened. Brittany. Well, Jane, police say a car went off of Spindle Hill Road here when it hit a tree and then it ended up catching fire. Now, the damage of all this can still be seen this evening with the guardrail kind of torn down in that area down the embankment. The tree is charred and there's scattered car debris down that embankment. But now family and friends have added balloons, flowers and candles as memorial grows for the 18 year old teen driver. According to police, this happened just after 10 p.m. Saturday, Saturday night involving five teens ages 16 to 18. When officers arrived, the car was lying on its side in the embankment and was on fire. Two teens managed to escape and told officers three others were still inside. A firefighter worked to put out the fire while an officer pulled a teen out of the back seat through a shattered window. The 18 year old driver and 17 year old front passenger were trapped and had to be extricated. The passenger was flown to Hartford Hospital by Lifestar helicopter in critical condition and the driver was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. His identity has not been released, but friends at the memorial today say he was kind hearted and an easy person to connect with. This is heartbreaking. I couldn't believe it. I was just in shock and I'm still in disbelief, but all we can do is pray for the family and just hope God gives them the strength that they deserve during this tough time. We are also learning some of the teens in the car were students at Wilkett High School. Public School Superintendent Sean Simpson said in a statement, quote, while not all occupants were currently Wilkett High School students, all involved had ties at some point to Wilkett Public Schools. Two of the injured occupants are current Wilkett High School students. Now the superintendent goes on to say there will be grief counselors available starting today and into the school week for anyone who needs them. Police say the cause of this crash is still under investigation. For now, live in Volkett, I'm Bertie Shaper, News 8.